Hi, my dear friends. I'm so happy to see you here. I just want to say thank you to these beautiful ladies. Gail, Miriam, Brendita, Nancy, Monica, and Rebecca. Thank you, girls, your souls, and your comments make my day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's start with our three-dimensional wave. I'm so excited to share this technique with you guys because um, we can do a lot of things with this. And let's start with uh, doing some rolls with the clear tape. Uh, the size depends on your project. So I will do a small project and I hope this will be useful for you. Um, it's a little bit difficult for me to explain what I'm doing right now, but the uh, good thing is this is a video and you're seeing what I'm doing, so if you have some doubts, I can help you with that. I'll do two rolls, one bigger than the other, and I will try to do some slope um, thing. We will use that uh, clear sheet called acetate, well in my country that's the name, and we will put the rolls on it. And then we choose the volume of our wave and we leave it like that with the volume and we will use 100% silicone and I will put it in the back because it's easier for me to do it that way and that's it we start to cover the clear tape now we have a hand soap with water and this will avoid that uh, silicone sticking to our fingers but it's a great tip right and now we're just trying to give it a good shape. If you want, uh, you can see a picture to have a better idea. I'm sorry, my hands are just <laughs> too dirty and um, um, I will be a good girl in the next video, I promise. With the two stick, I will give the illusion of water and I will do some lines. Just, you know, forgive it a uh, deep sense. And here it is, our skeleton wave. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's prepare our resin. And we will do different shades of blue. This is important. You need to wait till the resin starts to cure because if it's too liquid, this will fail and fail. Believe me, I know what I'm saying. This will fail and fail and fail and fail and fail. Must say that the first layer was a little bit difficult, but the second layer was a really piece of cake because the uh, I wait just three hours till the resin was so so tacky and then I put the second layer I didn't wait 24 hours or something like that I just wait two hours and that was enough that was more than enough to set this up and this is still my second layer and I add a white resin you know for the illusion of the water when it's Russian and I wait till it was fully cured and I just add some white lines and that clear resin to do the way more resistant and that's it and remember enjoy what you're doing um, next project I'll be serious and I will think what I'm doing but right now I'm having fun Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, please. And I love you forever. And before you kick me out of your life, let me tell you, you need to wait till the resin is thick 
or tacky to do a great foam effect. That's it. That's all I have to say. Because you don't love it. My jokes are bad, I know. But at least you should subscribe. I don't want to be nasty, but subscribe. Pull the white color and try to give that um, felling water effect or illusion and that's it you have a wave and we have to be careful with the back on the way because we don't have that so much thick because it won't integrate into our canvas or into our board well and tan 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 oh wait 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 better right it wasn't that hard than it looks okay it was hard be sure that this is fully, completely cured because you don't want to break that. Remember that I am totally, totally waiting for your comments, for your likes, for your love. Okay, I won't beg you anymore. Okay, only a little bit in the next video. I'm sorry. Next step, you need to check these two videos. You will find it in the description. And if you already see it, you are so adorable, adorable. Seriously, thank you. And now we are ready to rock and roll. I want you to see that the lines that we do with the two stick has purpose and we give some realism uh, with the color maybe you can appreciate it very well right now but in the sunlight it looks so cool it's like um, clear and dark spaces it looks good and now we need to put that wave where it belongs the ocean the clear resin to hang the wave to stick the wave in your board and be careful with the air bubbles and leave the wave exactly where you want and pour the resin in the sides in front and the back and above the wave and if I say and again, you are totally in your right to stop seeing this video. And now that I'm seeing this, I think this painting needs two more three-dimensional waves to give some balance to the painting actually I must say that I really kind of mm, bothers me the composition of this painting I I didn't think before in how to integrate the wave so I suggest you to think first and it's not a bad painting, but it's not uh, my favorite one. So just please think a little bit when you, uh, uh, before that you put the wave on, on your ocean. Being honest, I kinda hate it. Well, 
I like the way, but I didn't like the painting. Uh, I really, really appreciate if you share your thoughts with me, because uh, I will try to do my best in the next video. But I really, really want to know what you're thinking. Do you like this painting or nay? The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... And finally, I'm trying to integrate the wave with uh, more black, with more white <laughs> resin and uh, trying to put some details to give it realism. And this is it. Thank you for seeing this video and thank you for following me on Instagram, Facebook and Please stay with me. I love you. What do you think? Share your thoughts with me. Please. Please. And being serious, thank you for watching. See you next time.